السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back with a new lecture of LCMS MS As we know that LCMS MS is an analytical technique used to measure mass to charge ratio of charged particles or ions So analyte molecules should be converted at the beginning to form ions and then these ions will be measured Ion source used to ionize these analyte molecules to form ions where electrons will hit the molecule to form molecular ion which has the same molecular mass like molecule and positively charged ion and is unstable so it has a tendency to be stable so it will be fragmented to form product ions which are more stable than the molecular ion to form product ions these product ions are specific for each molecule and these ions will be measured by the mass as we said in the previous lecture that there are different types of ion sources depending on the type of samples today's lecture we will explain the ion sources that require the sample in the gas phase prior to ionization and that means that the sample should be in the gaseous state before ionization first is electron ionization as we see in this picture, interaction between gas phase sample molecules and electrons generated from the filament or electron generator to form molecular ion. How is this ionization happened? Energy of electrons is about 70 electron volt. 70 electron volt. Sufficient energy of electrons transferred to overcome ionization potential of most organic compounds to form molecular ion which has the same molecular mass like molecule and positively charged ion so molecule plus electron for ionization using sufficient energy which is about 10 electron volt to form molecular ion plus two electrons these two electrons will be collected or discharged in the anode electron discharge to prevent another extensive reaction with the molecule that will make complexity of the spectrum after that excess energy of electrons excess energy of electrons transfer to make fragmentation for the molecular ion to form product ions, a series of product ions which are unique for the molecule. These product ions will be accelerated to mass analyzer, will be accelerated to mass analyzer. Example for electron ionization such as methane CH4. By electron ionization using sufficient energy which is about 10 electron volt will form the molecular ion CH4 plus, plus 2 electrons by excess energy also 10 electron volt this molecular ion will be fragmented to form product ions which is CH3 plus H free radical CH3 plus H another example butane in CH3 CH2 CH3 plus electron ionization using 10 we will make the whole process 20 electron volt to form the product ions to form N plus CH3 CH2, the product ion, plus CH3, and CH3, CH2, plus CH3, the free Ionization and the fragmentation in electron ionization depend on acceleration potential or kinetic energy of electrons, where at low potential, energy of electrons will be lower than the molecule ionization energy, and in this case, Electrons cannot ionize the molecule at high potential according to this equation energy equal to HC divided by wavelengths speed of electrons will be very fast 
wavelengths will be very small so molecules will be transparent to the electrons and ionization cannot happen by the electrons at 70 electron volt which is the optimum energy of electrons in this case only sufficient energy can be transferred to overcome ionization potential of most organic compounds and ionization for molecules will happen and small change in the electron energy that will not affect on the pattern on the spectrum of the spectrum Electron ionization considered to be hard ionization because ionization and the fragmentation will take place inside the ion source. Also, is not selective. Is not selective because all ions will be ionized and fragmented on the same time inside the ion source without any selection. And extensive fragmentation will occur. The other ion source that requires sample in the gas phase period to ionization is chemical ionization. In this case, ionization will not be by electrons like in electron ionization, but will be by reagent gas ions through ion molecule reaction. And ionized sample molecules will not be fragmented, will be repelled as it is to the mass analyzer. So there is only ionization, but there is no fragmentation in this, in this case, and ionized sample molecules will be repelled as it is to mass analyzer. What is the technique for this? Reagent gas molecules will interact with electrons generated from the filament or electron generator to form reagent gas ions. These reagent gas ions will react again with other reagent gas molecules coming to form more ions because reagent gas ions should be higher than sample molecules to be able to ionize these sample molecules. And then these reagent gas ions formed will ionize the sample molecules. So sample molecules will be ionized by reagent gas ions, not by electron ionization, through different reactions like proton transfer, proton abstraction, adapt formation. and charge exchange as we see in this example using methane as a reagent gas molecule as we said also reagent gas should be ionized at the beginning by electrons to form a reagent gas ions and then these reagent gas ions will ionize sample molecules methane will be ionized by electron to form molecular ion and then this molecular ion will be ionized to form this product ion which is reagent gas ion so this is reagent gas ionization go for another step these reagent gas ions will react with other reagent gas molecules to form more ions because as we said that ions reagent gas ions should be higher than sample molecules to be able to ionize sample molecules so it will react with other reagent gas molecules to form as here CH4 plus CH4 to form CH5 plus, plus CH3. And CH3 will, this product will react with other reagent gas molecules to form C2H5 plus H2. So this step will be for reaction of reagent gas ions with other reagent gas molecules to form more from reagent gas ions. These reagent gas ions will then react with sample molecules to ionize these sample molecules. As we see in this example, this is proton transfer. Proton transfer. CH5 plus this reagent gas ion will react with sample molecule to form CH4 plus AH positive. AH will be repelled as it is to mass analyzer. It will not be fragmented again. Then sample molecules will be ionized by reagent gas ions through these reactions. Proton transfer 
proton will be transferred from reagent gas ions to the sample molecule to form CH4 plus AH positive, which is the ionized sample molecule. Proton abstraction. Proton will be taken from the sample molecule to CH3 positive, which is reagent gas ions, to form CH4 plus A positive, which is ionized sample molecule. At that formation, C2H5 plus plus A sample molecule to form AC2H5 plus. Charge exchange CH4 plus all of these reagent gas ions plus A sample molecule to form CH4. The charge will be transferred to the sample molecule to form A positive, which is the ionized sample molecule. These ionized sample molecules will be repelled as it is to the mass analyzer. It will not be fragmented again. There are two types of chemical ionization, positive chemical ionization and the negative chemical ionization. Positive chemical ionization where our lights can produce positive ions, positive charged ions. And this is common because uh, almost all analytes can produce positive charged ions. But negative chemical ionization, analytes produce negative charged ions, but this is very selective. For compounds uh, with, uh, of containing acidic group, acidic group, or highly electronegative elements like halogens. So, so this is specific for analytes that can produce negative charge, and these are very few compounds, not much. Ionization of sample molecule with reagent gas ions depend on proton affinity of both reactant sample molecule and the reagent gas ions and the internal energy of the obtained species. Where proton affinity of reagent gas ion should be lower than proton affinity of sample molecule and the internal energy of the obtained species should be positive to undergo proton transfer. If proton affinity of reagent gas ion will be lower than proton affinity of molecule so the difference between them proton affinity of molecule minus proton affinity of reagent gas ion will give positive will positive internal energy internal energy so in this case reaction can be done and molecule can be protonated by the ion as example Organic molecule, proton affinities of most organic compounds higher than 180 kilocalorie per mole. And CH4, proton affinity of CH4 is 127. H3, H2, H2O, proton affinity 165. So using these reagent gas ions, organic molecules can be protonated and ionization can be done. But NH4, proton affinity of NH3, NH3 is 205, so cannot, molecule cannot be protonated by NH3. Finally, electron ionization and chemical ionization require sample in the gas phase. So, it will not be applied for non-volatile samples, it can only analyze volatile samples. So, to overcome this issue, Ionization methods developed, developed uh, by using fast atom bombardment and field desorption to form new methods, new ionization techniques to be able to analyze high nuclear weight, high polarity, uh, non-volatile samples. And these new techniques applied for mass spectrometry like electrospray ionization, atmospheric pressure chemical ionization, atmospheric pressure photo ionization, and others. That will be other new lecture, inshallah. See you in the next lecture, inshallah. Don't forget to subscribe my channel on YouTube. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.